What's going on guys, Adrian here. Today I'm going to be talking about my settings. Um, this video has been requested multiple times by people and uh, when I've been in other people's streams in the comments. So yeah, I'm going to be explaining why I use my settings and I'll show some like, I'll go to training mode and I'll show you guys what I mean after I explain why I use them so you can, you know, see me put it into my gameplay. But first we're going to be going over my attack button. Now, the reason I attack with R1 and think about it my it changes my grab button it changes my uh my jutsu button and obviously i had to change my sub button because the normal one is O. but my attack buttons are one and i'm gonna explain why because it's easier to do combo switches like the two hit three hit combo switch you know what i'm talking about it's easier to do that um switch tech is way easier uh and it, it falls hand in hand with my chakra because listen my switch tech that means it would be you know if you didn't switch it before it would be triangle switch circle right to uh do a jutsu switch but now it's l1 switch r1 i don't have to move my you know fingers or anything i, I already have them placed like that so my fingers are already set up you know what i mean um so yeah it's pretty uh pretty nice for my tech it's easier to juggle like that also but uh now i'm going to talk about my jump button obviously it's i keep it normal because i'm used to xenoverse jumping i don't really want to change my jump button i'm used to you know dragon ball games so I jump with x and most fighting games you jump with x so i don't want to change it uh chakra is l1 so my chakra dash is l1 and x and the reason why i have it like this is because it's to juggle like this um it, it just feels more comfortable bro because like i said i don't have to move my hands or anything so it's or my fingers so i don't really have to do much it's in a comfortable position you know with chakra being l1 that means my chakra shuriken is l1 l2 so think about it think i'm doing i'm pretty sure you guys know pts shino's combo i'll explain right here where you you attack throw the charge shurikens so think about it i attack with r1 jump up throw a charge shuriken with l1 l2 now i don't have to move anything very comfortable um falls hand in hand with my shuriken button i have it as l2 because it's it's easier for me to do that because it makes my chakra shuriken easier uh it makes my regular shuriken is just l2 but my chakra shuriken is l1 l2 which is not much of a difference i just have to press down the button that's right there you know so I really, I really like the setup with the shuriken button. I'm able to jump with X. I don't have to jump with X, move my finger, press square. I can just jump L2, jump L2, jump L2. You get it? Jump shuriken. Uh, my supports. Okay, so my supports. Uh, to be honest, I had them as these because my sub button, you know, I couldn't really, I didn't want it to put it to square. Didn't want it to put it to triangle because that just feels weird to me. I'm used to Xenoverse jumping, uh, I mean Xenoverse subbing, which, you know, is X, but I didn't want to put it to X because I can't, that's my jump button. So I decided to just put it to um, square and triangle for my supports because I want my sub to be O because it's, you know, it's right beside X. I mean, you could put square if you want to. I'm not saying square is bad. I have friends who use square supports. I mean, not square supports, square subs. And I think that... um. I did not mean to do that, wow. And I think that some people would really like that better with square as their sub button, but me, I prefer O. I just like it, I don't know, I just like it. It's just mine. It was the attack button before, so I'm just basically attacking instead of subbing if those were the old controls. Um. So yeah, I will now be showing you some gameplay and showing you guys what I'm talking about so you can understand. So I'm here in training mode with PTS, you know, and Nagato Momoshiki, and I'm going to be explaining everything of what I just talked about now. So look, combo switches, we'll start out with this, look, it's super easy, because instead of pressing O, and then having to push your controller, I mean your hand in like a weird position, and like flick your analog stick while you're pressing O, like no, I'd rather just R1, like I'd rather just do this bro. See what I mean? It doesn't take any fucking sort of like weird hand movement, bro. It's just right there. R1 
and your thumbs on the analog sticks is changing it. You feel what I mean? It's way easier like that in my opinion. Alright, now we're going to be talking about Jutsu switches, so I'll explain why it's easier for me. Instead of having the whole triangle, like, switch and move your pointer finger and press circle, I have L1 on my pointer finger, I'm switching with my right thumb, and then I'm pressing R1 with my right pointer finger afterwards, so like this. See, and I can switch back. So it's way easier like that also. Um, now we're going to be talking about my grab switches. Alright, so now we're going to be going over my grab switches and why it's easier like this. So look, a normal grab would be R2 in circle, mine's R2 and R1. Usually for a grab switch you would do O and then flick your analog stick and like be in a weird claw position or like uncomfortable position. But for me, I can just have my right pointer finger on R1, my right middle finger on R2, and my right thumb on the analog stick. So it's not hard at all. Just gonna show you guys. No, I fucked up. So look, it's way easier like this. So yeah. Now I'm gonna be showing like a little sequence of events that's just easier. So watch if you were to do something like this. Or something like that, bro. That's all way easier. You know what I'm saying? All this, my I don't have to move my fingers nearly as much and people say default settings are easier it's not easier at all but it is I, I can see why people think they like it better they don't want to change their controls you know that's that's on them but coming from somebody who's played both bro it's, it's not easier with the default settings it's easier for me to play like this i'm not like some people might not get better from changing their controls regardless but i'm just saying me personally i think it's easier to play like this Next I'm going to be explaining my counter button, uh, it's way easier like this because it usually will be R2 and square, mine's R2 and L2, so R2 and L2, um, and it's easier like this because usually you would have your thumb flicking the analog stick and your right thumb flicking the analog stick and pressing square, you have your pointer finger on R2, but me I have my right pointer finger on L2, I mean my left one, <laughs> my left one, I have my right pointer finger on R2, and I have my right thumb on the analog stick, so I'm just... Ah. You know what I'm saying? It's way easier. It's way easier like this, in my opinion. But, um... Either one, both are actually... Regardless, I would say default controls for counter switching is pretty easy also. So, regardless, they're both easy, but this is just a little bit more comfortable for me. Uh, that's how I practice my um, my juggling. Uh, obviously, I'm not the best at a, uh, you know, hit, jump, dash. You know, hit, jump, and then dash. I'm not the best at it, as you guys just seen. But definitely, is I'm better than I used to be at uh, juggling and stuff with these controls. Um, you can even ask people who use default controls; they'll not even lie to you about it. They'll sit here and say that it's easier to juggle like this, which your attack button is R1. And people say it's easier to juggle with L1 as your chakra and L L1 and X as your uh, chakra dash. People will even admit it, like I said. But it's all about preference, bro. Like, me, these settings just fit me. You know, I know not everybody's going to like them. And I know people are going to call my settings weird because I've had people um, say it before. And yeah, my settings are weird. They are. But it's just people think that they're weirder than they actually are because they don't go outside the box and try to change their controls and see what they can find that'll make more comfortable. Uh, obviously it's just preference. I know a lot of people who are way better than me with, you know, default controls. But uh, I guess I'll go over tilt switches real quick. You know, it's just O instead of R1 obviously in this situation. It's way easier like this. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I was just showing my controls and uh, explaining why I like all my controls so yeah leave a sub if you enjoyed and peace